Hey, what's up, Shigs? Um, just doing another mental health check-in. How you feeling? Uh, I guess I'm alright. I don't know. I haven't really taken care of myself this weekend, or this week. My beard looks like shit. My hair's all fucking greasy and gross, but hey, it'd be like that sometimes, I suppose. Um, I mean, the news, the uh, other news, I guess I'm gonna, I've been talking to my therapist pretty regularly, pretty like once a week, so that's new. Uh, yeah, I know, thanks. Um, and then this Friday, so in like two days, I'm gonna be getting some ketamine treatments to see if it helps my depression, so I'm pretty excited about that. That's gonna be cool. I'm gonna, I hope that helps, and I hope it fixes where it's so hard for me to do anything productive, like videos and stuff like that. I'm just, I like, I love doing this so much, and I don't want to hate it, and... I don't want to. I don't want it to feel like it's a chore when it's not a chore because this is something I want to do with my life. This is, you know, this is what I love doing. I just, I don't know, man. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. Hopefully, it fixes it though. So that'd be tight. How are you guys feeling? You guys living the dream, having the time of your life in Sadville? Because you know, all aboard. We're taking a trip there. Um, I'm gonna start my own town called Sadville, and then we're all just gonna live there and be friends. Uh, but yeah, that's about, you know, I mean, where I'm at with it, there's, I don't know how this is not going to be a long check-in, I just want to see how you're doing. Um, thank you for all the responses uh, for the last video. You guys should also talk amongst yourselves in the comments and hype ever each other up, because that's what we're here for. Also, to the person that said sadness and depression are related, you're an idiot, because they are. They literally are. It's literally in the definition. And yes, someone can be happy and sad at the same time. Yes, they can. That is, uh, someone can be happy and depressed at the same time. That is perfectly plausible um, to do more research. But yeah, the response in the last video was great. I, I, I know I didn't reply to anybody, but I did read your comments. Um, and I hope you guys are having the best day ever, and I hope things do get better. And as long as we, you know, we fucking stick with each other, uh, stick with each other, you know, have each other's backs and such, and, and, you know, lift each other up, we'll be alright, we'll be cool, we'll be chilling like a villain. Um, I'm sorry I called you stupid, but that was just a stupid comment, my bad dog. <laughs> Uh, but, yeah, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna get better. It's gotta get better. There's, well, I don't know, man. So there's one thing I, I think about a lot that I don't know if you guys think about a lot, but I do. Yeah? You think about it, too? Do you think about it, too? Yeah, I know. Um, is that, um, so I'm always, you know, that saying, you know, it'll get better, it'll get better, it'll get better, it'll get better. Well, come on up here, Shug. Come on. You want up here? Ah, there we go. Um, that saying it'll get better, you know. It will get better. I think about that a lot. I think about people like Anthony Bourdain who like killed themselves when they're 40s and I don't know how old he was, like 40 or 50. And it's like, well, fuck, man. What if it doesn't get better? What if I feel like this for the rest of my life? Which is a big possibility. It's, you know, a very high possibility that I will feel like this for the rest of my life. Um, <sighs> uh, but I think it gets easier as we get older. Um, I think we learn new, what? Which one was that? Was that you? Um, it gets easier as we get older. We learn new, better coping skills with trauma that we've experienced. Um, okay, bye. Uh, we learn new and better coping mechanisms and skills. Uh, again, you know, we get older and we learn, we learn uh, better coping skills and things of that nature, but we still have those trauma voices inside our head that are the same age that we were when we, okay, hello again, that we, that is the same age that we were when we went through that trauma, so whenever something happens, that really young trauma voice shows up and it's like, hey, we got to do this because this is what we did last time and it helped uh, and, we, and we survived. And what we did last time to survive may have not been the most healthiest uh, coping mechanism to deal with that trauma. And so we got to shut that young trauma voice up and be like, nope, we're older, we got new shit, we got new stuff that we can do 
and we can work on what we can we can do to uh, deal with this trauma, and we're gonna get on through. It. Isn't that right, War Chief? Huh? Isn't that right? Yes, 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 yes. Um, but it's gonna be all right. You know, it's a possibility that you could get older and it, you don't feel any different. You feel the same way, but I think. As long as we're actively making steps to better our mental health, I think that's that's what matters, and I think that's what makes you know will make us help us survive. Because uh, at some point, you know, living life's not so much of living; it's more of surviving than anything else. Trust me, I know that for sure. It fucking sucks. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's about what's going on with me. I hope everything's good with you. I mean, I, uh, like I said, started talking to my therapist once a week. That's cool. Uh, hi, mamas. Um, there's fucking furs all over the place right now. Um, gonna start some ketamine treatments every other week to see if that helps. Um, so that's gonna be cool. I'll let you guys know how that goes. I'll do a little update and tell you how it felt and the effects it had and so on and so forth. You jumping off? Okay, bye. See you again in a couple seconds. Um, so on and so forth of uh, fucking hair everywhere. Um, God damn, you shed so much. Ugh, I'll never have a white cat again. You know that, right? After you, never. All black cats. That's all we're getting. Um, uh, so you are one of a kind, my sweet Shug. Um, but yeah, so let me know how you're feeling down in the comments. I hope things are going better, at least, you know. Um, there's one of you that things are bound to not be going better. Uh, and I hope that it does get better for you. And, uh, like I said, I know I didn't reply to any of your comments last time, but I do read them. I, uh, read them very carefully. Um, I also gotta stop focusing on negative comments. There's so much positive, and there's one negative thing, and I'm just like, I'll fucking pay attention to it all the time. I hate it. Um, but yeah. I will do another check-in next week, and I'll let you guys know how the treatments go, and how the therapist talking is going, shit like that. I hope you have a good day today. I hope the good things happen to you. Um, I hope good things happen to you. I hope you get what you want, and uh, life doesn't get you down too hard. You're so precious, so valid, um, and you are very loved, and I hope you know that. I hope you have the best day ever and all the good things happen to you, though. I will uh, see you guys next week. Please be kind to others. Most of all, be kind to yourself. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you on another mental health check-in next week. And then we got true crime this weekend. It's going to be fun on a bun. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.